Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm running a very quick comparison of two of the HP MV X360 laptops, one equipped with the Ryzen 2500U processor, and the other the Core i5-8250U. Uh, I only had the Ryzen system for a few hours, uh, and so this is not a perfect test. As you can see, resolution and scaling were a little different. Um, but just as a very quick comparison, because I know I've wanted and had many people asking about these in the past, and what we can see is in the multi-threaded version of this test, uh, the Ryzen chip is actually a little bit faster, around 15% quicker in this test. Um, for comparison, I also run the single threaded test. And in this case, the Core i5 actually comes out around 5% quicker. Now, like I say, this isn't a perfect test. These weren't done on the same day and date. The Core i5 I've run previously and the Ryzen I just had very quick sort of use of and wanted to get a recording done. Um, also Cinebench does tend to be one of the tests which Ryzen performs very well on, perhaps unrepresentatively compared to some other tests, um, but it does do very well here. Thanks, I think in part, IPC or instructions per clock are better on the Core i5, um, so it gets higher throughput per clock, but the base clock speed, so the speed it's going to be running at most of the time um, on multi-threaded workloads is high enough on the Ryzen versus the Core i5 to compensate for that. Uh, whereas once you get to single threaded performance, uh, the difference drops from 400 to 200 megahertz and also the actual speeds are much higher and that allows the Core i5 to take that 7% lead. So just a quick test. I, I know it's not sort of massively um, scientific in this case, but thought it may be of interest to some who were looking to compare the Ryzen and the Core i5. Like I say, in some other CPU-driven tests, um, I would expect the Core i5 to take a lead even in multi-threaded, but in terms of integrated graphics performance, I would also expect the Ryzen to beat the Core i5 by a fairly big margin. So that certainly makes the Ryzen an interesting chip, uh, certainly the most interesting mobile product that AMD have had in some time. Um, if you would like to see us testing this in future, I may try and get hold of a laptop if there's demand for it to test some of the integrated graphics as well. So let us know what you'd like to see tested. Be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.